uh, hello everyone uh, i'll be teaching statistical thermodynamics uh, as a part of uh, this course uh, thermodynamics and statistical thermodynamics for biology and i am uh, sanjeev sanapati from antimatras and for this part of the course uh, the reference books what uh, i'll be following are uh, statistical mechanics by uh, donald a macquarie and uh, molecular modeling principles and applications by Andrew R. Leach. So, before we go to statistical thermodynamics, let us uh, look at what we mean by classical thermodynamics. Uh, so, as you know classical thermodynamics is also called the continuum thermodynamics and if you look at the name thermodynamics, so thermodynamics as the name implies it essentially talks about dynamics uh, or the flow of heat dynamics is nothing but the flow and thermo is nothing but the heat. So, thermodynamics talks about flow of heat and as f and if you look at the first law of thermodynamics, it basically gives you the relationship between uh, heat, work and change of energy in a physical chemical or it could be a biological system. And this is the first law where you see the change of energy of a system is equal to the heat supplied to the system minus work done uh, by the system on the surrounding. So, uh, uh, how uh, statistical thermodynamics is different than the classical thermodynamics? As you saw the first law, uh, thermodynamics provides connection between many properties. Um, there are many other properties you have come across in the first part uh, of this uh, um, course. Uh, one of the uh, equations what we will be using um, in, in few minutes is delta G is equal to delta H minus T delta S. So, that expression basically gives the relationship between free energy, enthalpy and entropy. So, thermodynamics basically is providing the connection between many properties, but it does not provide interpretation concerning the relative magnitude of those properties. It does not say, it does not say uh, why delta H is so much, why delta S is so much, why the heat, uh, uh, why the work done by the system is so much and so on. So, this impact uh, is both the power and the weakness of, of thermodynamics. It is a dis discipline where it does not need to recognize uh, the existence of atoms or molecules in the system. And here enters the statistical thermodynamics. Statistical thermodynamics in the other hand assumes that the system is composed of molecules and atoms and it calculate it calculates and interprets the thermodynamic quantities from the molecular point of view. Uh, thus, thermodynamics and statistical thermodynamics, they treat the same systems, but their uh, goal is different. So, uh, in nutshell, if we have to define the statistical thermodynamics, we can say statistical thermodynamics is that branch of physics which studies the macroscopic system from a microscopic or molecular point of view. So, here macroscopic system by that uh, uh, you, um, I mean um, the properties what you measure um, uh, in, in laboratory. For example, uh, pressure, volume, uh, free energy, uh, change of energy and so on and so forth. So, how those um, uh, macroscopic quantities uh, can be obtained from uh, uh, from microscopic information of the system. Mm. In other words, the goal of statistical thermodynamics is to understand and predict macroscopic phenomena and also calculate the macroscopic properties from the properties of the constituent molecules or the atoms that make up the system. Let us take an example. Um, so, uh, we have a protein and let us say this is the conformation of the protein. We say this is sorry P and we have a ligand L which binds to this protein 
to make the protein ligand complex pl complex now what will be the delta g of ligand binding so this delta g binding you'll be getting from thermodynamic expression delta h minus t delta s where delta h is change in enthalpy and delta s is the change in entropy so this is the thermodynamic uh, relation what you got to uh, get the change in free energy due to the binding of the ligand to the protein but what is the uh, 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 what's the magnitude of delta h magnitude of delta s uh, the, the, the classical thermodynamics does not tell you that now statistical thermodynamics comes so i'm writing another expression from uh, classical thermodynamics what you have come across is delta h as you know is delta u change in internal energy plus p delta v so now statistical thermodynamics can explain why delta h is this much statistical thermodynamics now considers this particular protein is composed of amino acids and each amino acid is composed of uh, many atoms carbon hydrogen oxygen the peptide bond and so on and so forth it also considers that my ligand is having the atoms uh, uh, that uh, made of this ligand molecule so now statistical mechanics will calculate this delta u as sum over i sum over j u uh, ij so this u ij is basically defining the interparticle interaction so u ij is basically the interaction of ith particle in the ligand with the jth particle in the protein so delta u uh, is obtained from statistical thermodynamic uh, law wh which uh, says that the interparticle interactions between the ligand and protein uh, uh, you know sum them up if you sum them up you get the total u um, uh, of the protein ligand complex uh, likewise uh, if you want to get the entropy so you basically calculate from statistical mechanics the change in degrees of freedom freedom of the ligand and protein uh, due to the binding of the ligand to the protein active site so as you see both entropy and enthalpy you are getting from statistical thermodynamics and those um, magnitude you are putting off in this expression of thermodynamics to find out what is your delta g binding so both thermodynamics and statistical thermodynamics they are applied to the same system but for different uh, goal okay so now um, we need to get a few basic concepts of statistical thermodynamics uh, and the basic concepts of statistical thermo thermodynamics can be presented in terms of few quantum mechanical properties such as the energy states the degeneracy the wave function and so on um, but uh, so from my uh, this statement it might appear that um, there is uh, you need up uh, quantum mechanical um, uh, you know uh, quantum mechanical knowledge but that's not the case uh, I, uh, soon i'll show that uh, a satisfactory version of statistical thermodynamics can be presented by using only a few quantum mechanical ideas and results.